I, I, I don't know. I, was, I, I feel like I was doing good there explaining and then I took a left hand turn. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome. Today's video, we are going to be unboxing, trying on, and doing a review of pretty much everything in the base box from BoxyCharm for June. So before we jump into the video, I do want to tell you guys, thank you so, so much for all of your kind birthday wishes. My birthday was on Monday, June 8th, and I'm still getting little comments rolling in. I'm like, oh, thank you guys so much. And don't forget, there are still two giveaways going on on our channel. I will pin them in the comment section down below, so make sure to enter into those giveaways after of course you've watched this video and I think that that's all the news I have other than make sure to follow me over on Instagram because I will be posting my first ever giveaway over on Instagram as well you guys know trying to grow that Instagram following trying to get the 10k so I can get the swipey swipey so let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing and try on review all of that of our June BoxyCharm base box so if you're new to BoxyCharm, the BoxyCharm base box is $25 a month plus tax and you will receive at least $125 worth of products. Now you do get to customize one item in your box, so automatically you're going to know one of the items that is in your box. So you guys always ask the weight of the box. Now this was sent to me in PR and they also included the premium box. So I did go ahead and just weigh it separately on my mail scale for you guys and it, it is one pound for Four point three ounces so for those of you that are curious about the weight of the box one pound four point three ounces now when I open the box there is no card so I did go ahead and just look up the prices of everything in here so I can't tell you what variation this is so moving on to the first item that I did receive and this is by first aid beauty this is the KP bump eraser body scrub now this does have a retail value of $28 and this says it is safe for sensitive skin and it does have 10% AHA in it and my understanding is it's for what people call chicken skin like the bumpies that you may get behind your arm or what have you now I was thinking maybe since I do sunless tanner I could use this as an exfoliant um, it says apply onto wet skin gently massage over problem areas rinse and apply moisturizer use once or twice a week as tolerated not for facial use so let me know if you guys have this is this something that I could use because I don't I don't have that behind my arms now the next item that I did receive in the box and you guys will see the try on popping up over here I'm gonna try and do like a split screen so you guys can see but this is the Laura Geller multitasking eye lip and cheek palette now this has a retail value of $24 and you guys can see that I've done made a mess but I did use all three of these products today and I will say that I used them um, prior to setting my face with powder and then setting my face with powder and going back over with the blush and highlight. And it actually was surprising because it worked really, really well. I was a little curious if this was gonna like remove some of my foundation or anything like that. It did not. And the only complaint I, I would say, if anything, and I'm the type that you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, but if we're looking for pros and cons, the con would be that I did feel like these were a little bit small of pans. So I, when I went in with my stippling brush, I was kind of picking up on either side which wasn't the end of the world. I mean, I still got a beautiful, you know, ended up with a beautiful look in the end of it. Um, but that would be the only thing. I was a little surprised by the pan size, but I guess for the $24, I would say that this is probably a good deal. Um, I did like this. At first, I was like, ooh, this is going to be like a greasy leave, um, a tacky leftover Vaseline feel, but it actually really does dry down like a powder. It was it's very comfortable it's on my face now and same with the highlighter I was like oh this highlighter I don't know but as it dries it is super super comfortable now it's not one of those like see you from space shocking type of highlighters it's very pretty very soft very glow from within type of look and I will say this blush love the blush it reminded me a lot of the Fenty Beauty um, petal popping shade and that is the one thing I will say as far as this formula goes is you definitely 
I felt like for my skin tone, I definitely had to build the colors up. I didn't feel like it was one of like Tower 28, for example, where a little bit dab will do you and you're like, Phew lots of pigment so I definitely feel like these are more of like a natural build them up but they did build up very nicely they didn't move or around any of my makeup well I not explain that right but you know what I'm saying so anyways very pleased with this palette it's good little like you know if we ever got to travel again kind of palette okay so moving on to this next item and again this is where I was like oh because I was really, really, really hoping for one of those shared planet, I think it's called, eyeshadow palettes. But I did end up getting the Touch and Soul palette, which again, you're going to see me applying this eye look over here. So this is the Touch and Soul Fill Up Orange palette. And this is what the inside of it does look like. And I will say, I think that if you're new to makeup, just getting into makeup, scared of colors, this would actually be a really good palette for you. It does have a retail value of $32. And like I said, you'll see this look over here. The only scary, I guess, color in here would be the pressed glitter. And I have to say the pressed glitter really shocked me. It's not like uncomfortable. It's not like crazy like gritty. It doesn't like fall on my cheek or anything like that. And I really liked it. Even though I'm not one to wear a lot of glitter on my eyes, I like the fact that it's not just orange. You see like green and yellow, like you see a lot of different shifts in there. So it's really, really pretty. And this large shade right here, you guys will see over in the video. I actually use this on top of my highlight. So not only using the Laura Geller highlight that was in this little trio, but I did go back over and use this shade right here and it worked out perfect. You guys know what I always say, like multitask your products, get your money's worth. And I love the fact that this is such a large pan because you're going to be able to do that. So again, I just think it's a really pretty natural kind of glow from within type of shade. And I did kind of put a little bit too on top of my um, brow bone and a little on my nose. And again, it's just a really nice like kiss of do without being like do. I, I, I don't know. I, was, I, I feel like I was doing good there explaining and then I took a left hand turn welcome to my channel so anyways overall i have to say when i like i said when i first saw the palette i was like oh man but formula wise easy to work with pretty formula i i think like i said i feel like my mom would really like this palette because it's just really soft very natural very neutral other than this color which i did feel like these little circles were kind of tiny i was like oh sort of expected it to be a little bit larger and this again was my bratty butt looking and going Ah oh, man, that is not what I wanted. So when it came to choices, there was a, a whole different variety of choices. And one of the choices was the Tula Cooling Skin Stick for under the eye. That's what I was wanting. That's what I would have picked. But again, because I'm, again, very grateful to receive this in PR, I don't get to pick the items in this box. So one of the other choices was the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara, which does have a retail value of $24. This one you don't see me applying, but I do have it on. Wow, I really like this. <laughs> This is where I tell you guys all the time when it comes to a subscription service or a subscription box You may not like everything in this box or it may not be something that you would have personally picked out for yourself because I wouldn't have I would not have picked out this mascara, but holy moly. I really like this mascara So my my lashes are kind of going through like a shedding process or something right now I don't know why they do that, but they do that every so often so I did use my blink black primer, which is my normal, my standard. I always use that as my primer, but normally I have a cocktail of like two other mascaras that I use on top of that. I only use, I only use my, my blink black primer and then went in with the Lily Lashes mascara. And I love this mascara. Like look at this wand. It's a wand. It's thick and it's big, but it's not like hard to navigate. You know what I mean? Like there's some that are so big, they're a bit too much. And then I end up like trying to get all of my lashes and then hitting the top of my lid and it turns out to be a hot dog on mess but this i love the formula i love the brush on it and again this was something that i was really disappointed to see in my box but once i made myself use it i was like <laughs> i like it i like it a lot 
So yeah. Okay, moving on to the last item in my box. I'm just all over the place. This is actually a new brand to me, and I believe a new brand to BoxyCharm, and this is KAB, and like I told you guys in my sneak peek video, which again, I switched my lipstick, you'll see it over here, but it was a little like, what are we looking at? We're looking at your lips, or are we looking at your eyeballs, sis? I don't know, so I calmed down on the lips. But this is a CAB, and like I told you guys, or started to tell you guys, this owner is, I believe, a former or current, I, I don't see her very often anyways, because you guys know I love the Real Housewives, I love them all. Potomac, Atlanta, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills kind of irritates me, because they're like so like, um, OC, I like them all, except for New York, love Jersey, oh my gosh, wow, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. Any Anywho, Kim Zolchak, I think is how you say her name. This is her brand, KAB, and this is the lip liner and the gloss in the shade Charm. I really like this. The color scares the ever-living, you know what, out of me because this is definitely darker than what you typically see on my lips. However, it's super comfortable. It has a really yummy scent it's not one of those scents that is really strong but it's like just delicious it makes me want a cupcake and i'm trying not to eat cupcakes because too much sugar just jacks your girl up so there's that but i really liked the the lip liner too it was very comfortable it didn't like tug or pull or anything like that but again the color i'm like whoo whoo you know Anyways, really pretty, really comfortable. Does have a retail value of $38. If you guys are curious what I did switch my lips to, I have the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in Sugar and Spice, which some of y'all are supposed to be getting the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner, I think in the shade Luna. These are my favorite. These are my favorite lip liners of life. Then I have the Gerard Cosmetics. This is a Between the Sheets lipstick. And then the shade Nude and her, I call it the Bougie Gloss. It's just her lip gloss with the light on it. It's bougie. I do have a coupon code, Hot Mess. Does save you 30%. It is affiliate code. Just letting you guys know. But anyhow. So, retail value of everything in this box. Again. This is a $25 plus tax box, and the total came to $146 for everything. So my thoughts on it, like I said, when I first opened the box, I was, I was a brat. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a brat. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, and then I got in here, I started playing it around, simmered down, and I was like, wow, I like this. This is awesome. So I'm pretty happy with everything in here. I have to figure this first aid beauty product out. Let me know if you guys have tried it out, but um, if, if not, I'll give it to somebody kind of thing. But overall, the mascara shocked me. The lip gloss, the lip liner, very comfortable. The trio, perfect. And the eyeshadow palette, I like it. So I'm pretty pleased with everything in this box. Let me know down below if you know what variation this is by chance. Let me know what it is because your girl don't know. And again, the weight is one pound, 4.3 ounces. Let me know which variation that you received for the month of June in your BoxyCharm base box. If by chance you are curious about signing up for the BoxyCharm base box, I will leave a link pinned in the comment section below with the giveaways and my Instagram. That is an affiliate link, just letting you guys know. So if you do sign up, thank you. I will earn a little bit of a commission that I put right back into the channel for you guys. So that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it enough to give your girl a big thumbs up. I hope you decide to stick around, subscribe, become part of the Hot Mess Express Queen of Rambles. That's what we do over here. But it's a judgment, drama, and stress-free zone where we always embrace the hot mess. So embrace it. Let's do this. I'm up here five days a week, guys, 12.15 Eastern Standard Time, and um, I have a lot of videos if you guys want to, you know, watch. Okay, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to film my premium unboxing for you guys. So I hope you are safe and well wherever you are. Thank you again for the birthday wishes. Please make sure to go over and check out both of the videos I have in the comment section down below for you guys so you can enter into those giveaways. The more you comment over there, the higher your chances. So love that for you. Anyways, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye. Do you love this? It's an amethyst. Haley made it for me for my birthday. I think it's supposed to be calming. I'm pretty calm, right? I think. 
Okay, bye guys. <laughs>